Hi, folks. Welcome to Give Me Five Friday edition. Um, yesterday, of course, the House of Representatives, they passed overwhelmingly in veto-proof fashion, as they say, uh, a bill that would not end Syrian immigration uh, or re immigration of Syrian refugees to this country, as the media falsely reported it in many instances. It would just enhance our security by forcing the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, and the National Intelligence Agency to each individually sign off on every single Syrian refugee that wants to come into this country. Now, when the news broke, CNN's global affairs reporter, Elise Labatt, tweeted out the following. Now, remember, she's a reporter. I'm not a reporter. She's a reporter. She's supposed to report. So she tweeted out, House passes bill that could limit Syrian refugees. Statue of Liberty bows head in anguish. Really, Elise? Really? The Statue of Liberty bowing her head in anguish. I guess you don't like the bill much, do you, Elise? I didn't know you were paid to have an opinion, Elise. Here's more. Let's put up another tweet here. And this is from Eric Wimple. Uh, and this is, uh, he's from the Washington Post. And it says, uh, does this comport with CNN editorial guidelines? Well, the answer to that, ladies and gentlemen, has been given because CNN has suspended Elise Labatt, their global affairs correspondent, for two weeks, for two weeks for that tweet. Now, uh, I wouldn't call for her to be suspended. To me, it just chalk it up as what the liberal media is. Uh, I wonder, though, how they could justify suspending her for that tweet and doing nothing to Carol Costello, who said that the audio of Sarah Palin's daughter describing how she was physically attacked and assaulted by a man was the best audio ever. And you could thank me later. And nothing happened to her. So I don't get that. But hey, you know, who am I to judge? Now, this was a topic of discussion. John Kasich was on a CNN with, with um, Carol Costello talking about the refugee situation. And what, listen not only to Carol Costello's questions here and her, what she says, but look at the, what they call B-roll. Look at the video of what CNN presented as the refugees. They're only kids and they're only women. Watch. The White House to indicate they're going to veto that bill. I mean, I just think that is just not the way to. Uh, it, it is an illustration oh, of the fact that the that uh, it's an illustration of the fact that the administration doesn't know how to work with the Congress. Well, look, Governor, let me let me um, run this by you because we already have a very complicated process in effect. It requires that applicants' histories, their family origins, and law enforcement and past travel and immigration records they're vetted by national security intelligence law enforcement and consular offices. This process can take 18 months to two years for each person. So there are complicated safeguards already in place. Some might say that the Republicans are playing politics to try to keep all refugees out of the country altogether. All right. You see, you see the kids? They would have you believe that the only refugees are women and children who are struggling. Here's more. Watch the pictures. Well, Carol, here's, here's the thing. You know, people have accused me of having too big of a heart, and I do have a big heart, but I also have a pretty good brain. And the fact is these people are coming from a war-torn war area with no papers. We don't know who they are. And the answer the administration has is, well, we're going to sit down and do a bunch of interviews to try to figure out who they are. You have James Clapper, who's one of our top intelligence people, saying we can't determine who they are. We had the head of the FBI saying the same thing. So when they're saying we don't know who these people are and we can't guarantee security, I don't know why we'd let them in. All right. You haven't had enough? Watch some more. There's no sound on this. Just look. Look at this. Another kid. Another kid. Come on. We got more. We got more. Another kid, there's, there's, oh, there's a guy, how did a man get in there? There's another kid. Yeah, these are the refugees that CNN wants you to see while they're trying to make a fool out of John Kasich. Kids and women. And that is not a fair representation. But it's the mainstream media, isn't it? Thanks for watching.